You guys finally arrive at the Bald Raccoon Tavern. The air is musty and it smells a little bit like spilled ale and damp timber. What do you do? Right. What are we doing here again? Are the... The Tattered Scroll states that we'd find the dread wizard Gibraltar in the tavern. Yes, and he should have the fabled grimoire of restitution upon him. Mm, yes, we should find that. Okay, sweet. Um, I look around the tavern. Excellent. So, you examine your surroundings. <clears throat> your eyes are drawn to the far corner, where you see a mysterious figure, singularly illuminated by a lone beam of moonlight. He is shrouded in a heavy purple cloak, and a large, dusty tome sits on the table in front of him. Okay. Is there anyone else in this tavern? Uh, yes, there are a few patrons and, uh, let's say, a waitress. Okay. This, this waitress, what, what does she look like? Uh, a human woman, uh, average age, carrying a tray of drinks. Uh, are you there, waitress? What's your name? Oh, uh, my, my name. Uh, yeah, it's an easy one. That's, uh, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, Schmerpel. Schmerpel. What an unusual name. Where's it from? Uh, you know, around. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I should. Uh... And how long have you worked in this tavern, Schmerpel? Oh, whew, um, it's a long, long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in all my time working here, I've never seen anyone quite as mysterious as that guy over there. Mysterious man starts. No, shush. Schmerfel, how many siblings do you have? Uh, uh, I'm no siblings, only child. Yeah. Do you have any family at all? Uh, nah. What? No family at all? Not even parents? Uh, no, well, I've got parents, obviously. Well, what are their names? Uh, hmm. Jeremy and Meredith. Ah, what an interesting contrast to Schmerfel. Indeed. Mm. Now, what are your most vivid childhood memories and your most character defining moments from your adolescence? Uh, I can't quite recall. So you have amnesia. Well, that's mysterious. She could be the dread wizard Gibraltar and not even know it. Yes, I'm finding your inability to give us straight answers about the intimate and specific details of your life very mysterious. Mm -hmm. Mysterious? No! No, look, look, I am just an ordinary waiter. Nothing interesting or mysterious here. Not like that guy over there. Look at him. He's like swarming with mystery. Look, I bet he's got a great, like, fully fleshed out backstory. Not like boring old Slurple here. <laughs> I thought your name was Schmerple. Uh, suddenly, at that moment, the wizard, I mean, the robed man, stabs her in the back. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. I have been murdered by this mysterious robed man. I wonder what his deal could be. Before you can jump in and save them, uh, Slurple dies on the ground. Schmerple? Sh Schmerple, whatever. Before you can save her, the robed man stands over her body with a bloody knife in one hand and a grimoire in the other. Ah, adventurers, you have arrived. Ah, I see. Very tricky. I cast Speak with the Dead on Schmerpel's yes, corpse. Good idea, yes. good idea. How do you know so much about the robed man? He works here. And, and, and how. Don't laugh. <laughs> and how are you able to read the grimoire so immediately, mm. it being so ancient? Um, uh, yeah, I went to school for it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. Sorry. 